In this video, I am sharing with you my complete shopping guide for the Aven skincare brand. If you have ever been curious about this brand and maybe wanted to try a product or two, but weren't quite sure of the price point, check this video out. I am giving you the hits and misses from this brand and telling you exactly what is worth spending your money on and where you should save your money by choosing a more affordable product instead. This is not sponsored. It's all of my own opinion from personally trying so many of their products over the years. The Aven website often has great sales so you can check these products out. Everything I recommend will be linked in the description. So here is how this is going to work. I'm about to simplify their whole brand to make it a super easy shopping experience for you. Aven has 16 different skincare collections for different skin concerns. Each of those collections has several product options in it. This is overwhelming when you are navigating their website or staring at their display in the drugstore. So each collection will have a chapter in this video. I am going to tell you a quick one-liner about what each collection is for so that you can start navigating around. Remember, all the links that you need are in the description. Forgive me in advance if my pronunciation is off for these. I will try my best. I accept any and all French lessons in the comments below. Okay, 16 collections. The Retronal collection is for anti-aging that gives prescription level results. The PhysioLift collection is also for skin aging and restoring a luminous complexion. The A Oxidative collection, these are antioxidant products to protect your skin from environmental stressors. Cyclophate collection, this is for the skin barrier and wound repair. Do not skip this chapter, it is relevant for everyone, and I have a couple holy grails in this section. The Sun Care Collection, another holy grail alert here. This is for everyone, so do not skip this chapter either. Next, the tri Acneol is for treatment of acne-prone skin. The Cleanance Collection for oily skin and acne-prone skin. And this next collection for redness-prone or rosacea skin types. There's the Zeracalm AD for atopic dermatitis or eczema-prone skin. The Hydrance Collection for dehydrated skin the Tolerance Control Collection for hypersensitive skin, and the Tolerance Extreme Collection also for hypersensitive skin and to restore the microbiome. The Tricera Nutrition Collection is for dry and very dry skin. The Cold Cream Collection, these are to moisturize and nourish the skin. And you have the Daily Essentials Collection for all skin types. And lastly, the Thermal Spring Collection. There is just one product in this collection, which is kind of an interesting product, so check that one out too. So all of these collections are chapters in this video, so let's go one by one. First up is my personal favorite collection of this entire brand. It's the Retronal line for anti-aging. There are four products to choose from in this line. What makes this collection very unique is that all of these products have retinaldehyde in them, which is the closest form of retinoid to prescription strength retinoic acid. Now, retinaldehyde is converted by your skin directly to retinoic acid. So you are getting almost prescription-like results here with way less side effects. So these products are treating deep wrinkles and fine lines. I think that they also smooth the skin texture as well. And in addition to the retinaldehyde, it is a complete anti-aging product because these also have antioxidants to prevent aging from free radical damage and peptides for firming the skin. And the last thing I'll say about this collection that makes it worth the money is the texture of it. It is very nourishing to the skin and really creates this protective layer so that your skin will not dry out or become irritated from the strong retinaldehyde ingredient. These are pricey, but they are absolutely worth the spend in my opinion. Remember, a retinoid is the most important anti-aging ingredient of all the ingredients. So your entire anti-aging skincare routine should be built around this star product here and you can choose less pricey options to round out the rest of your routine. So here are the four products. First, the Retronal 0.1 Intensive Cream. This is the strongest option, and it is what I use even though I have sensitive skin. If you are new to retinoids or have trouble tolerating them, there are two other lower strength options, the 0.05 Cream 
or the day cream. So you will choose one of these strengths for your face. And in addition, they have an eye cream called Retronal Eyes. This is a holy grail product for me that not only treats crow's feet, but also decreases dark circles and puffiness under the eyes. This is the one product that I try to use every single night. To see me talk more in depth about this product and see me use it, check out my complete product review video on this one. So from this Retronal collection, I use the 0.1 Intensive and the Retronal Eyes. These to me are worth the spend for prescription-like results. They are linked in the description. On to the next collection, Physio Lift, which is for anti-aging as well. There are five products in this collection. The Physio Lift Eyes is extremely similar to the Retronal Eyes. I do not think that you can go wrong with either option. So choose one or the other, depending on what is available to you. These have nearly the same texture, the same hero ingredients. Both of these adhere nicely to the contour of the eyes and do a good job filling in those fine lines. This is worth it to me. Next in this collection is the Physio Lift Serum. This is basically a hyaluronic acid serum. There are two weights of hyaluronic acid to plump the skin. I don't think you need a hyaluronic acid serum. However, if you must have one in your routine, there are cheaper ones that are likely as good. I recommend the Vichy Mineral 89 instead. This can be used as a serum or a moisturizer. So check out my product review video on the Vichy option. So this is a no for me, save your money. Next is the Physio Lift Night Balm. I prefer the Retronal Intensive over this one if that is available to you. I still like this option because it has retinaldehyde in it, but I consider the Retronal line stronger and likely more effective. Plus, I do not like hyaluronic acid in my retinoid creams. Retronal does not include hyaluronic acid, whereas the PhysioLift one does. This is a no for me. Choose the Retronal cream instead. The PhysioLift Day Cream is essentially a hyaluronic acid cream with antioxidants in it. You do not need this if you are using a vitamin C in your routine, especially if you have a vitamin C E Ferulic product, which has all of your antioxidants right there. So personally, I would not spend this much money on a moisturizer and instead choose a good vitamin C serum. Check out my spend or save video on vitamin C serums and pair that with an affordable face cream. Two of my favorite options are the Holy Hydration by e.l.f. or the Double Repair by La Roche-Posay. I will link those in the description as well. The Physio Lift Day Emulsion is just a lighter weight form of the day cream. So for the same reasons, I would pass on that as well and save your money. So to summarize this Physio Lift collection, Choose the Physio Lift Eyes only if Retronal Eyes is not available, or really either one is a great option, and pass on the rest of these products, choosing the Retronal options instead. Next collection, the A Oxidative Collection has three products, a serum, a cream, and a sheet mask. The serum and the cream are for the most part similar, just in different vehicles. These are essentially just moisturizers. And I firmly believe that you can get very high quality moisturizers for way less money than these. These also have vitamin E. They have a precursor for vitamin C, not the actual L-ascorbic acid, and they have hyaluronic acid. Both of these are a no for me. I say you should save your money. Instead, you need to buy a great vitamin C product that has the actual active form of vitamin C, not a precursor, in at least 10%. And it should be paired with vitamin E and ferulic acid for maximal antioxidant protection. Then pair that with a much more affordable moisturizer that has hyaluronic acid in it if you wish. I have my top affordable face moisturizers linked below. As for the top vitamin C products, my top choices are SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic and the three dupes that I love are Drunk Elephant, Timeless Skincare, and May Love. I have those linked below as well. And once again, check out my Spend or Save Vitamin C Serum video to learn all about these options and decide if you want to spend or save on your vitamin C product. So if you are looking for antioxidants in your routine, do not choose these with a vitamin C precursor. Instead, save your money and choose one of my other recommendations instead. 
Now, the sheet mask from this collection is totally fine if you are into single-use sheet masks for some self-care. I am neither here nor there on this product. I don't think it will change your skin. It just feels good while you're using it. Next, let's talk about the Cycle Fake Collection. I'm obsessed with this collection. There are a few holy grails that I will mention here. These are useful for everyone, no matter your skin type. The main goal with these particular formulations is to protect the skin from external factors and repair the skin barrier if it has been compromised. These contain postbiotics, which are an ingredient to watch. These have a lot of promise in the healing of skin, so this is really a unique line. But the results speak for themselves here. There are five products in this collection. The Cyclefate Plus Restorative Protective Cream is a holy grail. Everyone should have this in their skincare stockpile or when you travel or put it in a diaper bag because yes, it is safe for infants as well. This has a thick, rich texture that coats the compromised skin, maybe from a sunburn or dermatitis or irritation of the skin, and it soothes the skin while repairing. This is what I will break out and use if I just know that a moisturizer won't be enough to fix a problem quickly. So this is a yes for me. Cyclefate Scar Gel. This has silicones in it, which is one of the top ingredients to treat scars and surgical wounds. Silicones have been shown to improve the cosmetic appearance of scars. So for that reason, this is a yes for me for scar treatment. Cyclefate Lips. This is one of my favorite lip products to use nightly to fix dry, cracked lips especially in the winter. This is worth it to me because I find it more tolerable than a thick ointment like Vaseline, and this is less likely to cause breakouts around the lips. So this one is another yes. Cyclefate hands. If you suffer from dry, cracked hands or frequently wash your hands, this product can be extremely helpful to you. Studies show that it stays on your skin through five hand washes. So using this will help resist water damage more effectively. This has dimethicone, mineral oil, beeswax, and zinc sulfate. This is another yes for me. Lastly, there is a Cyclefate post-procedure product. I defer to whoever is doing your procedure to tell you if this is recommended for you. The Sun Care Collection is next. Okay, another holy grail is in this category. There are three sunscreen options, two lotions, one is tinted, one is non-tinted, and one makeup compact that comes in two shades. All three are 100% mineral in SPF 50. The thing that is so unique about these particular tinted sunscreens is the concentration of iron oxides. Iron oxides are what protects our skin from visible light. You need to have a high enough percentage of iron oxides to get the best protection. These sunscreen options seem to me to have some of the highest iron oxide concentration that I have tried. This is the most important for people with melasma, hyperpigmentation, and those with darker skin tones. The tinted versions also have niacinamide and skin-soothing bisabolol and allantoin. So if you have any of these conditions I mentioned, like hyperpigmentation or melasma, this is definitely worth the spend in my opinion. So yes for the tinted cream. I, however, prefer the sunscreen compact in the lighter shade for my skin. It's the number one product that I take with me when I travel, and it's what I use when reapplying sunscreen during the day. It completely takes the place of any other makeup that I use because it wears full coverage. I love this product. This is also a spend that is worth it to me because of the unique formulation. If you have a very light skin tone, you can choose the non-tinted version, but I would say to skip this and choose a more affordable non-tinted sunscreen option for which there are plenty of good drugstore products. I only think their two tinted options are worth the spend because those are unique enough. Now, let's talk about their two collections that are great for acne prone and oily skin. First, the Clean It's collection. This is formulated to reduce the amount of oil on your skin without just stripping it completely from harsh chemicals that are commonly found in acne products. The key and most unique ingredient in this line is derived from the milk thistle plant. It is called the Silibum marinum fruit extract. This actually decreases oil oxidation that leads to pimples and decreases the amount of oil on your skin overall. 
If you have heard of the newer SkinCeuticals product called Silymarin CF, it is also built around this milk thistle ingredient. That SkinCeuticals product is $166, although it does also contain a few other beneficial ingredients in it. But this Kleenex collection has a serum that is worth the spin to me because of this unique ingredient. It also has silica in it, which helps absorb excess oil. It has an overall very simple formulation of just 11 ingredients. So this is a yes for me. The other product that I recommend from this collection is the Mattifying Emulsion. Same idea as the serum, but in a lightweight moisturizing lotion instead of a serum. If you have oily skin, but still need a moisturizer, choosing a mattifying one like this with the milk thistle plant in it is a superior option. It does have fragrance, which smells nice and it's subtle, but this is important to take into account. If you are someone that cannot tolerate fragrance, then you are going to want to avoid this product. This line also contains two cleansers, which are fine, but for the price, I prefer more affordable options like Vanna Cream or CeraVe. I do not think that you should spend your budget on cleansers in your routine. Save it for the Levon products. So skip these two. The last product in this collection is the Hydra Soothing Cream. This is essentially a barrier repair moisturizer. It is not mattifying. I do not think this one is worth the spend. Instead, I would opt for a more affordable barrier repair moisturizer by CeraVe, Eucerin, or La Roche-Posay. So in the Kleenex Acne Collection, there are two really unique products worth the spend. Next, the Tri Acne All Collection that has two products, a night soothing lotion and a daytime mattifying lotion. The night soothing lotion is absolutely not worth the spin to me after I evaluated all the ingredients. Instead, go right for Differin or Adapalene Cream if you need a night product for acne. I have several videos on different skincare routines, so check those out. Adapalene is super affordable and likely way more effective than this product. And skip the day cream as well. Choose the Clinet's Mattifying Emulsion instead, which is more affordable and will also control the shine from excess oil. So I do not recommend either product from this collection. Now for the Redness Prone Skin Collection. These products are going to reduce the degree of redness on the skin and help soothe the skin barrier. The Fort Soothing Concentrate, here's the deal. This is okay if you can tolerate it, which you won't really know until you try it and it's quite expensive. So this is going to be a risky purchase in my opinion if you are truly rosacea prone. It may potentially be wonderful and soothing to you or it just may trigger inflammation given the nature of rosacea skin and just how sensitive it can be. I would not spend on the cleanser in this collection. For rosacea and redness prone skin, get the simplest option possible. I recommend Vanacream Facial Cleanser. And masks can be really problematic in very sensitive skin people, so I would also pass on this product as well. Now let's talk about Xeracalm AD, the products for atopic dermatitis. These will replenish the damaged lipid barrier and soothe itching and irritation. There is a lipid replenishing cream and a balm. A couple things make this collection unique to me. Sterile, airless packaging so it remains fresh for the entire duration without the need for adding preservatives and parabens. I love this concept so much. And these contain a postbiotic complex. Postbiotics are gaining traction for their remarkable effects on controlling skin disease and inflammation. You do not find these in many skincare products, so that really stands out to me. The cream is lighter than the balm. Both of these are great options, but they are expensive, and atopic dermatitis people tend to go through a lot of products. I would say if you are not getting improvement with products like Eucerin and others that I mentioned in my drugstore dry skincare must have video, then these Aven Xeracom products are certainly worth a try. So I would say yes, these are worth it if the first line more affordable options are not working. Okay, now let's talk about the several collections for dry skin. The Hydrance collection is for dehydrated skin and contains a hydrating serum, cream, lightweight emulsion, and a gel. The Hydrance Aqua Gel is similar to the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I prefer the Hydro Boost for the results. It also comes in a fragrance-free option and it's at a lower price point. The hydrating serum option 
seems unnecessary to me. Instead, just use a moisturizer. And lastly, the cream and emulsion are at a higher price for essentially just a moisturizer. And again, I believe you can get incredible hydration of your skin in a simple moisturizer without spending a fortune. I have my top affordable facial moisturizers linked below. Also note that the Hydrance collection does contain fragrance if that matters to you. Next, we have our Tolerance collections for a hypersensitive skin, Tolerance Control and Extreme. The Tolerance Control collection has a cream and a balm that I love. They both have postbiotics in it to aid in skin recovery. And they have simple formulations with sterile packaging to protect the most sensitive of skin types. It's crazy to me how sometimes you have to pay more for a product like this to actually get less of the bad things, less ingredients overall, and less of the problematic ingredients that just sometimes costs more. So this is worth the spend to me because it's overall very safe for hypersensitive skin types. If something like Vanna Cream Cream or ointment is not doing it for you, or you just want to try something more elevated, try these products in the Tolerance Control Collection. Both the cream and the balm are great. I would not spend on the cleanser. Next, the Tolerance Extreme is pretty much that even more extreme for protecting the skin. The cream only has seven ingredients in it, which is incredible. This is partly possible because of the unique sterile packaging, so they don't need a bunch of fluff preservatives for this product. These ingredients are all about maintaining the skin microbiome, which is very important in hypersensitive skin. The emulsion is lighter weight and only has six ingredients. This is even more simple than the Vanna Cream products. So again, if the simple, cheaper options like CeraVe and Vanacream are not working for your sensitive skin, definitely give these a try. I do not think that you will be disappointed here at all. As for the cleanser in this collection, again, I would not spend on this one for all the same reasons I mentioned before, and I would not recommend a mask at all in hypersensitive skin people, so no to both of those products. Now for the Tricera Nutrition Collection. I tried these out more recently and I like them. They're plenty fine, but I think that you will also get similar results with similar products that are more affordable, like the Lipicar line from La Roche-Posay. So I wouldn't initially spend the extra money on this particular collection. As for the Cold Cream Collection, I did not find anything unique or stand out about these products. They all contain fragrance, and Aven makes a better option, in my opinion, for the lips, hands, and a moisturizing cream in the other collections. So these are not products that I would personally test out to purchase, but if you have tried them and love them, let us know in the comments. Okay, for the Daily Essentials Collection, this is fun because I have lots of replaceable options here. I'm going to run through them quickly and tell you yes or no. The Gentle Milk Cleanser for $20. No, this is unnecessary. Use the Gentle Elf Cleanser for less than $10. This is just as good. The Oil-Free Gel Cleanser. No, cheaper cleansers are just as good. I'll link my favorite affordable cleansers below. The Micellar Lotion Cleanser Toner 3-in-1 product. I love this one. It does contain fragrance. Now, I also love cheaper micellar water products, so I don't think that you have to spend for this one, although it is a nice product. The Gentle Toning Lotion to reset your pH. This is fine if you have a toner in your routine or need a pH reset. I don't use one in my routine right now, so I'm not spending on this step. The cleansing foam, no, just my opinion, it's not necessary. The eye contour care, no, the only time an eye cream is worth it is if it has an anti-aging ingredient in it, which this one does not. So use the Retronal eyes instead, or just use your regular face moisturizer under the eyes. The exfoliating gel and the gentle scrub. Hard pass on both. I don't recommend physical exfoliants. Instead, use a product like CeraVe SA Body Wash that has a chemical exfoliant in it, which will accomplish the same thing with less risk of skin barrier disruption. The Revitalizing Nourishing Cream, the Rich Cream, and the Melt-In Balm for the Body are all high-priced moisturizers. To me, these are not unique enough to justify this price, 
I think that there are other options that are just as good for less money, and I'm linking those in the description. The skincare oil, no. Neutrogena makes one for less than $10 that is fragrance-free and just as good. This one by Aven has fragrance. The Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. I love this one. It does not coat my eyes with a film like some of the cheaper options do, so I think this one is worth it. And last but not least, the Thermal Spring Water Collection that exists of a whopping one product. This is literally a can of water. Now, I actually love this. It feels great on the skin in this misty spray. This is totally unnecessary, but I did actually buy this and probably would rebuy it again, to be honest. I do consider this a novelty though. It can't hurt, but you don't need it. Here is how I use this. If I am not cleansing my skin in the morning, but I want to apply my moisturizer to damp skin, I'll spritz this on the skin to get a damp texture and then apply my morning skincare routine products. The thought with this product is that the mineral water can help maintain a healthier skin barrier and microbiome. So it's a good thought if it really works. This is well-sourced water in a spray can, so it's up to you. Wow, so that is it. I can't believe I went through every product on their website. So here is my quick summary of what we learned in this journey here. Aven absolutely shines for anti-aging and skin repair products, specifically their Retronal and Cyclophate lines. These lines give prescription-like results and are worth the spend. Now, while I do enjoy many of their other collections, I think many of their options, like the moisturizers, can be replaced by more affordable brands. Additionally, aside from the Clinets collection, which I love for oily skin, I would not consider Aven my first line go-to for rosacea, acne, and atopic dermatitis products. Now, I don't think that these would be necessarily harmful. I just think that for the high price point, I wouldn't go here first for what they are offering in these products. And lastly, the tolerance collections are unique and worth the spend because of their simplicity and their focus on microbiome restoration. All of these products and my replacement favorites are linked in the description, so check them out. Now it's your turn. Tell me what you love by the brand Aven and let's compare our experiences. And let me know what shopping guide you want to see next. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on what's coming up next. See you soon.